Hi everyone, Linda here from Come Not Lane Wearable Art Jewelry. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. Um, today we're going to be working on another chain. I know I showed you one uh, a couple of weeks ago in another video. Um, this one I've been working on, refining it I should say. Um, this is the chain. I know it's in a, a small link, but I needed to make a small link for this particular necklace. Um, which I think is a very pretty necklace too. Um, so we're going to be work. This is done in a 24 gauge wire. Um, I'm going to be doing it in a 20 gauge so that it's easier for you, for you to see. Um, I normally work, work off the spool, but this is a little bit harder to do on camera. So I'll, I'll just cut a, a long piece here. So just pretending that this is on the spool, a 20 gauge wire. You're going to be needing um, your chain nose pliers, flush cutters, round nose pliers, and I've also got my crimpers here just in case um, I need them to um, smoosh down the end. So it's quite an easy one, uh, easy chain, easy link to do. So um, we'll just get started on it. All right, make sure that you uh, uh, flush cut the end of your wire. Now I've got my uh, pliers here, my round nose pliers here marked. Um, this is the first one here is the one that we're going to be doing for this particular link. So I'm just going to uh, grab my wire there, make sure I can't feel it on top. And I'm just going to twist it back and I've got my hand in the wrong position there. So I'm twisting it back into a loop. Just like that and close that up if it's not closed up properly then grabbing your um, chain nose pliers on the mark that if you've marked your um, your pliers we're going to twist it back this way you can see now what, what I mean by how hard this would have been to do on 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 the spool it's hard enough just with this uh, one piece of wire on camera so twist it back like that take it off your pliers and it should look like a figure eight okay now I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers and trying to get this so that I can do this on camera get my wire stuck underneath my table here come out there we go I'm going to grab the loop that's coming back around, not the open end of the loop. So the loop that's closed, if you understand what I mean. This is the open one here. This is the first loop that we made. So I'm grabbing the one that's closed. I'm going to hold it reasonably tight. And I'm going, oh, I'll bend that up a little bit so you can see as well. I'm going to bring this wire around. If I can hold on to this. Oh. Bit of scuzz there and I'm going to wrap that around the, the middle of the the middle of the um, connection there and bring it back up around again <laughs> wire flinging everywhere okay that should be nice and tight now turn it over grab your cutters I want to open that up just a little bit more. Just grabbing my chain nose pliers. I've gone over a little bit too far with that. Just so I can get my cutters in there to cut it. And cut that wire. And you're going to have a little bit sticking up there. So you just want to squish that down. The best you can. You might tighten that up a little bit. And then squish it down so you can't feel anything on it. 
So that's our first one, that's our closed one. I'm grabbing the wire again. Flush cutting it. Chain those pliers. Just straightening my wire a little bit here, so hopefully it'll stay out of the, the way a little bit more. I think it's caught up on everything. Oh, goodness, get off there. Oh, happy days. Okay. <laughs> so back on that mark again, making sure you can't feel anything. Twisting back. Making sure the loop's closed. Turning it over. Grabbing on their mark again. I've gone the opposite way this time. It doesn't matter. Oops, sorry. I'm off the camera. It doesn't matter which way you go. I've just, I've gone the opposite way. So you've got the figure eight. I'll try and move this down a little bit. So hopefully I can stay on camera. Okay. I'm just going to close that. Uh, loop up there a little bit more. There you go. Now grabbing with our chain nose pliers, I'm going to, even though I close that loop up, I'm going to open it so that I can fit this other link on. So I'm not um, opening it this way, I'm opening it up like that. Popping the link on. Closing your loop back up. Grabbing hold of that, um, you know, the other side of your loop, not your open side, your other side. Bringing that wire on. I'm just going to turn this over, make it easier on myself, hopefully. I never make these things look easy, do I? Just trying to do it on camera just is so much different than working off camera. Okay. Let me get this wire out of the way. Okay. Up and around. This is also harder as well with the uh, thicker wire. Oh, gee, I've got wire flying everywhere. A bit like comedy capers. Okay, cutters. I've got that wrapped now. <laughs> I probably haven't got much of this on camera at all. Did I get that around twice? Yes. Okay, cutting that, making sure you only cut the wire that you you need to. Chain those pliers. Give it a squish down. You can feel it. That one's a bit rough. Okay, that's nice and smooth. So we've got two links together so far. This could take all day. <laughs> okay, same thing again. We're just going, I'll show you one more. So we're flush cutting the end of the wire there. Chain those pliers. You'll see if you make this, it's a lot easier to do than what I'm demonstrating here today. Okay, 
trying to get this at a better angle. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Oh well. Okay, lining that up. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to open this. If I can get this wire to behave itself. Open this link up. This loop, I mean, not link, loop. Popping that one on. Closing the loop up. Grabbing hold of the closed part of the loop. Bring that wire up and around. You've got to pull fairly tightly as well. And hold on really tight. So you need to have your spinach before you um, attempt this. Okay, now we're going to cut that wire. And my wire just fell on the floor. And closing that, or squishing down that loop so it's nice and smooth. So that's what our links are looking like. You can hold that there. Can you see that? Maybe if I put it, put it down. Yeah, hopefully, can, hopefully you can see that. If you hold it up like that, can you see them? So I think it's just a really neat little and very um, strong, I'll show you on the pendant here, this, as I said, this is only 24 gauge and like I'm tugging on that. So that's a very strong um, link, even though it's not fused or anything like that. Um, yeah, so that's our, our uh, quick link tutorial for today. Um, hope you all enjoy it. If you did, please give me a like. Um, like helps to um, let YouTube know that um, you like my videos and you'd like to see more of them. And uh, yeah, that helps you out. helps me out as well. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, again, subscribing also helps me out as well. I'm just over the 700 now. I think I've got 723 subscribers, something like that. I need to get to a thousand and we'll be doing um, a giveaway a piece of my jewellery. Um, so if you can help me out, help me get there with that, that'd be great. Um, till, uh, that's all I've got to say today. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Everyone have a good one and uh, take it easy, guys. See you later. Bye.